So what does it look like when we cast values of other types to string? So I will make a boolean, and I'll name it some bool, and we'll set it to false. And I'm going to go ahead and cast this to a string. Notice this doesn't look any different, right? But I can check to make sure this is a string. I don't think we'll be surprised to find out it's a string. What happens when we cast none to a string? Let's find out. It says none, but this is the string none. And to sort of verify that, I'll do this. Let's compare the string of this to this string none, this explicit string none. That's true. So we can think about this in a, in a variety of ways. What if we are curious about some function? So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it generic func. And I'm going to have it return none. I'm going to go ahead and try to cast this to a string. Let's find out. Interesting, right? So in this case, we're calling the function. It's returning none. And we're casting none to a string. So this is the same as, you know, we could check this again. And I believe we'll see this is true. Now, what if I get rid of the parens in here that call a function, and I just look at this? OK. So we're getting an error here because I'm missing a paren, right? And uh, if you didn't notice this before, when you are to the right of a given paren or to the left of a paren, it will tell you the matching paren, which is really nice. Most text editors will do that. So when I print this name of this function, notice that I'm getting a string that says function generic func at some memory address. So maybe the takeaway here is that you can cast just about anything to a string but you can't cast just about anything to a numeric type, right? You can't cast a string to a numeric type. Uh, also, you might not be able to cast generic func to an int, right? Uh, it needs a bytes-like object or a number, not a function. It's saying, hey, I can't do this. And uh, can we cast it to a bool? Turns out we can. Can we cast it to a float? I don't think we'll be surprised. Again, it's not a string or a number. Uh, sorry, it's not a number. It's a function, so we can't make that cast. But we can definitely cast it to a string.